Hey guys, Dr. Story. I'm going to give you a game plan for how to solve your chrondomalacia patella. Now, this is a major problem, especially, at least in my age group, everybody seems to have it. It's kind of a little bit of a catch-all uh, diagnosis, but I'm going to give you a game plan, a three-step game plan, and it's important that you follow all three steps. The reason why is because only doing one of the steps only looking for that magical stretch or that magical, um, you're only willing to put in 30 seconds of time one time to see if it, it'll be cured, you're always gonna be frustrated. So if you follow these three steps that I'm gonna give you, I can tell you that it's very likely that you're going to improve, but you gotta do all three steps, so um, give it time. So I've been doing this for over 25 years. I know what I'm doing. All of this information is based on the latest scientific research I've done this many times on many thousands of patients. It works, that's been my experience. All you have to do is follow the plan. All right, let's get into it. Number one, you've already been diagnosed with chrondomalacia patella. You already know what it is. We're not gonna make uh, an entire YouTube video about that. We're just gonna dive into it. Number one, what are you gonna do? You need to get a great pair of shoes. If you're on your feet a lot, um, you're you're not gonna have an easy time if you're wearing flip-flops all the time. Most people are overweight. If you look, if you go to any mall in America, uh, you're gonna see over half the people are overweight. This puts a tremendous amount of pressure on your knees. When your body can't hold up that type of weight, a couple things are gonna happen. Number one, your arches are gonna cave in. So you need to get a great pair of shoes and when I say great pair of shoes, I'm just throwing it out there, but an Ultra or a Hoka, that type of shoe, a very good shoe that will help absorb force. That's important. The second part of getting a great pair of shoes is having enough arch support. And this is so variable that, um, uh, you know, one person might need one arch support, one person might need another. Now I'm gonna put a link uh, in the description about my favorite over-the-counter orthotics. I, in my office, will actually make custom orthotics for patients because despite some of the research, you can really customize uh, orthotics for people and really get it right. But there are some great over-the-counter orthotics out there, but they have to be able to support your weight. And most, most of these insoles that you're getting, they're not supporting your weight. You're, you're breaking them. So you need to get a good arch support. There'll be a link in, in down below of my favorite over-the-counter arch support. So get some of those. So if you've gotten a great pair of shoes that absorbs force, if you've gotten a great pair of over-the-counter orthotics that are supporting your arch, right there you're taking pressure off your knees, but you're not really dealing with it. The second thing that you need to do is you need to manage the soft tissue around the knee. If your knees are clicking, again, I'm gonna put links down below. You can go watch these, but you need to understand that chrondomalacia patella is damage of the cartilage on the backside of the kneecap, but what's causing that force to occur on that cartilage is tightness on one side of your knee and weakness on the other. Once you know this, it makes sense to loosen the tight area and strengthen the weak area. So you're gonna need a lacrosse ball or a foam roller or your hands, and you're gonna go to the outside of the knee and really massage deeply the outside part of your thigh. Then you will do exercises to strengthen the inside part of your knee. The third and final thing that you need to do is you need to strengthen your hips. And if you do clamshells and abductions, that's usually sufficient. However, I like to give patients hip airplanes. Those work wonders to strengthen your hips. So if you've got good arch support, if you've got a good pair of shoes, if you are actually taking care of the soft tissue of the muscles and tissue around the knee, and you've got strong hips, you, my friend, have just solved your chrondomalacia patella. So I'm gonna put some links right here but, uh, that you can hit, but don't forget to go down to the description to get all the details, and that's my game plan when patients come in with this problem.